Hello, it's me. Netflix and chill? No, John Hoffman. Stop asking me, please. All right, I was just kidding anyway. Good morning, O.N.G. Roberts. I'm John Hoffman. And I'm E.Rad. But I thought you were Emily Ratchetford. Go back to Arby's. No. Then shut up. On Friday, November 20th, starting at 5.30, the National Honor Society will be hosting the fall play Harvey, Dinner and a Show. The cost is $18. Make sure you buy tickets in advance. Tickets will not be sold at the door. To buy tickets, speak to either an NHS representative, Ms. Darren Camp, or Mr. Lieberson. Please come out to enjoy this great event. A portion of all proceeds will be donated to the OJR Educational Foundation. Congratulations to Meredith Lee for winning the Pac-10 Tennis Singles Championship. We had the chance to talk to Meredith more about her tennis career. Hi, I'm Meredith Lee and I'm one of the singles players on girls varsity tennis along with my sister Elena and JC Kaplan. My favorite aspect of tennis is traveling with all my friends. We get to travel all around the country and sometimes all around the world to play tournaments and we get to meet a lot of really great new people. We think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Meredith has been playing tennis for 10 years. Like her mother, she's the first girl from OGR to make it to states playing varsity singles. In outside tennis, you play for yourself, you don't play for a team. So what's really great about school tennis is that you have people behind your court cheering and you get to cheer for other people as well. Meredith loves that the game of tennis has brought her a long way. She's met so many people and tennis has helped create friendships that will never go away. My favorite places to travel to for tennis are Florida, Belgium, Virginia, Missouri. Um, some of my favorite tournaments include tournaments in Belgium as well as uh, hard court championships and international grass court championships. This season we had a pretty good season. We um, came in second in the Pac-10s to Mifacton. Congratulations, Meredith. If you want a cool and interesting new club to join, check out the TED Ed Club. We sent out our favorite reporter, Sam Pickford, to find out more information. Hi, I'm Sam Pickford here to find out more information about TED Ed Club. I'm here with Mr. Yoder, and what exactly is TED Ed Club? The TED Ed Club is really an opportunity for kids to find something that they're passionate about. We tend to watch these uh, videos that are on either TEDED.com or TED.com, and they're short four to 15 minute videos. Can you tell me about the upcoming uh, TED Ed Youth Convention? It's focusing on high school and middle school students, and it talks about things of the future. What's coming up in 2030? What's 2040 going to look like? So how can people find out more information about TED Ed? Well, obviously, they could always stop by room 1113 and see me. Uh, but also, this Saturday in the LGI, we're going to be hosting a live streaming party uh, for that convention that's happening in Brooklyn. So if you want to come to the school, we'll meet in the LGI at uh, 1030. Uh, and actually, the conference goes all the way to 6 p.m. There's three separate sessions and about 15 different speakers. So you can come and stay uh, for as long as you want. And that'll be on Saturday in the LGI at 11 a.m. Hope to see you there. Thank you, Mr. Yoder. This is Sam Pickford reporting your news for the Paw Report. On November 7th, the Best Buddies Club held a rather colorful event here at the high school and middle school campus. We sent our budding reporter, Haley Stock, to participate in the Best Buddies Run 101 and to tell us what's cracking. My name is Haley Stock, and I am here at the ONJ Roberts Color Run 101, and we're about to get started soon, so let's get running. All right, well. We just finished the color run and I'm here with Maddie Winger and as you can see we're pretty colorful. So Maddie, how was the run? It was lots of fun. That's good and what were you running for? I was running for the best buddies and it was just nice to support a good cause and we were all running together and it was nice. Well that's good and who were you running with? I was running with my friends. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's really sweet. I'm here with Kayla Hoffman and Megan Harpole and they're both officers for the best buddies and I was just wondering what is the best buddy supporting? Um, today we did this 5K to support our club and to raise money and awareness for Best Buddies with people with special needs. How was the color run for you guys? It was great. We had over 500 people here and everyone seemed to have a great time. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm here with Ethan and he's part of Best Buddies and I was just wondering, how was the color run for you? Good. Good? Who are you here to support? My brother. Your brother? What's your brother's name? Caleb. Well, that's so sweet of you. I guess you could say that the Best Buddies Run 101 here was a success at the high school. Over 500 people showed up, which is awesome to get here to get splattered in color. I'm Haley Stock, and I'm here reporting for the Paul Report. <laughs> As you know, Wednesday was Veterans Day, and ONJ Roberts held its 10th annual Veterans Day ceremony and luncheon to honor our servicemen and women. Here's Noah Cobb to tell you more. Hey, would you are? I'm back with my unforgettable enthusiasm here at the Veterans Day ceremony. Did you could not be part of this great event? I'm going to show you what a Veterans Day is all about at ONJ Roberts. 
All veterans and active service personnel were invited to attend the school's 10th annual Veterans Day ceremony. Uh, what would you say is the most important aspect of the ceremony? The fact that we're giving a little bit of gratitude, a little bit of the debt that we owe veterans back to them. You know, among everything that happens, that's the most important thing today. The veterans understand that we do appreciate them, that we know what they sacrificed so we could have the freedoms we enjoy today. Featured was the OGR Naval ROTC, who presented the colors, as well as served escorts for those in attendance. The ceremony continued with appearances from guest speakers and also included a performance by our very own OGR choir. After the ceremony, all service personnel and veterans were treated to a fully catered luncheon. How would you describe um, being a part of the ceremony? I'd say it's a monumentous event. Um, you're there for the veterans that can't be there, um, part of something larger than yourself. What are your thoughts on the ceremony? How would you describe it? I, th I think the ceremony was awesome as usual. They have the number of, uh, of veterans that, that came in and with the community itself, I think that sends a message to them. It was sometimes heart-wrenching, but very, very satisfying. Thank you. Thank you. Great job to everyone involved in the ceremony. It's great to know Owen Roberts has such respect for veterans and service personnel. This is Noah Cole reporting for the Paw Report. Have a great weekend, OGR. Thanks, Sugar. It uh, looks like we're running a little short on time here, so Sam, you've got 15 seconds for weather. Go. What? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, it's um, the Mondays, the Fridays, no, 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 not Monday, the Friday, Saturday, it's a Sunday. Okay, weather report. I didn't quite catch that. He forgot to mention the rain this weekend. Stay wealthy, OJR.